let's take a look at what is MongoDB and how to use it in Express application. I think this is one of the most important topic in Node series. Since now we have been learning basics and advanced topic of Express, but still something is missing in the application. Till now we have been storing our data in a variable and when the browser reload, it disappear. In real world applications, we need to store this data somewhere so we can access it later. We can store it in the database. So from this lecture, we're going to understand how to work with MongoDB database with Express application. There is other database as well to work with Express application. Then why MongoDB? MongoDB is a non-relational database. Non-relational database are often called NoSQL database. NoSQL database feels a bit more like JavaScript. Before we understand how to integrate MongoDB with Express application, let's understand what is MongoDB. MongoDB is a database management system designed to rapidly develop a web application. MongoDB stores its information in a document rather than rows. If you're familiar with SQL database, then in SQL, you store your data as rows. MongoDB stores its information in document rather than rows. So what is document? A document is something look like this. Now this is pretty simple document. It's storing a few fields of information about a user. We have the ID, the username and the email of the user. Consider a case where you would like to store multiple emails for each user. In the relational database like SQL, you might create a separate table of email address and the user which they are associated. So for example, let's say you want to store multiple emails of the user. You can simply edit this document with this. You can notice here, I just created an array and inside it we have two email address of the user. It's just like that you have created an array of email address and solve your problem. MongoDB document format is based on JSON. JSON is an acronym for JavaScript object notation. MongoDB data model is object oriented and it's very useful when working with JavaScript project. Now enough theory, let's take a look at how to work with MongoDB. Let's take a look at how to install MongoDB and how to work with it. So I'm going to just open my browser and here I'm going to search for MongoDB. I'm going to just open a website www.mongodb.com and here I'm going to just download the MongoDB for my local system. So I'm going to just click on this try free and right from here I'm going to download the MSI file of MongoDB. So I'm going to click on this on premises and from here I'm going to download the community server. So I'm going to click on this community server and click on this download button to download the MongoDB for my local system. Once I download it, I'm going to open it and start the installation. I already have this file, so I'm not going to download it again. Once you download it, when you open it, it will something look like this. You will get a welcome window of MongoDB. You need to just install the MongoDB server in your local system. To understand how to install the MongoDB server, I already have a dedicated video on it. You can check that video on the top right corner of the screen. I already installed the MongoDB in my local system, so I'm going to just open it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just head on to my C drive and inside it, I have program files. And inside my program files folder, I have the MongoDB database. Inside this database, I have the server folder, so I'm going to open it, the 4.4 version, and here I have the bean folder. Let me just open it. And these are the important files. I'm going to execute this Mongo file. So I'm going to open here a git bash shell. So here I'm going to right click and say git bash here. When I click on it, you can notice this will open the git bash with the path of this bean file. Inside this git bash, I'm going to say dot forward slash mongo. So this will just execute this mongo file and start the mongodb server. When I press enter, you can notice this will start the mongodb server with unique session ID. Now let me just close the server. So I'm going to press Ctrl C and clear the screen. And now let me just get the MongoDB version. So here I'm going to say dot forward slash mongo hyphen hyphen version. So this statement will return the MongoDB version. When I press enter, you can notice I'm going to have the result something like this. Now you can notice when I execute this command, I need to specify the absolute path of this Mongo file. Whenever I want to work with Mongo, I need to specify this path. So I need to open the bean directory and specify this mongo path to start the server. I don't want to specify this mongo path every time when I want to start the server. Instead, I want to automatically specify the mongo path with mongo command. So to do that, I'm going to create a new file and create an alias to store this path. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just first clear the screen and 
Here I'm going to say cd and specify tilde operator. This will just open the root path like this. And right here, I'm going to create a new file and store it in this root path. So I can easily execute this Mongo file and this Mongo file. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create a new file. So here, I'm going to say touch and specify a file name. So I'm going to create a file dot bash profile. So to create Alice, you need to create a file with the prefix dot and specify the file name. So here, I'm going to say dot bash profile and press enter. This will create this file on this root directory. Now, just out of that, inside this file, I'm going to add alice of this mongo and this mongo file. So here I'm going to say beam to enter into edit mode of this bash profile. So here I'm going to say beam dot bash profile. When I press enter, so I'm going to just open this file and now I'm going to press I to enter into insert mode. Here you can notice I have here insert mode of this file. And inside this file, I'm going to create an Alice. So here I'm going to say Alice Mongo is equal to and specify value inside double quote. So inside this double quote, I'm going to specify this path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and say git bash here. I'm going to copy this path, copy it, close this terminal and specify that inside this double quote like this. And just out of that, let me just specify here backward slash because we have space here. And just out of that, inside this bean folder, I'm going to specify forward slash, then specify mongo.exe. So I'm going to specify the path of this mongo file to this mongo alice. Just after that, I'm going to copy this command like this. And on the second line right here, I'm going to paste this command. And just out of that, I'm going to change this Mongo to Mongod. I'm going to change this Mongo to Mongod and this Alice became Mongod. So I'm going to create two Alice, Mongo and Mongod. Just out of that, I'm going to save this file. So to save this file, I'm going to press escape and press colon. When I press colon, here you can notice down here, I have this colon. And then I'm going to say W, W to save this file, then specify Q. This will quit the editor without saving this file. So I'm going to say here WQ. So the W will save this file. Q will exit from this editor. And I'm going to specify here exclamation mark to exit from this editor and back to the git bash shell. So here I'm going to specify colon WQ and exclamation mark. When I press enter, this will exit from the beam and back to the git bash shell. I'm going to close this git and let me just open this git again. And now let me just call my mongo alice so here i'm going to say mongo hyphen hyphen version when i press enter as you can notice this will easily call this mongo file with this mongo alice so you can easily call this mongo from any path let me just open this git on my desktop so let me just open my desktop and here i'm going to say git bash here and here you can notice i have the path of my desktop and right from here i'm going to say mongo hyphen hyphen version when I press enter I'm going to have the same result this will execute this mongo file from any path of your computer now once you understand the basic of mongo and how to install the mongodb in your local system next we're going to understand the basics of mongodb